Hello lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Pin Up Glamour channel and Pin Up Glamour podcast and today I have for you my next Pin Up Posing series where I'm going to be teaching you some fabulous things about posing as a pin up model. If you're a long time glamorous friend, welcome back and if you're new here I create tips and tutorials on the topics of pin up, burlesque and the glamorous lifestyle. If you love one or all of these be sure to subscribe as I share new content every week. I was uploading on my channel the other day and a little notification pop up that said I had had over 1.4 million views here on YouTube so I just wanted to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support and I can't wait to share more with you in the future. It's been a while since I last uploaded one of my pinup posing videos and it's something I'd really love to get back into as it's something many of you may find helpful. Moving forward I'm hoping to share four regular topics every month so I'd love to share a video on the topic of burlesque, a vintage hair or beauty tutorial, a pinup posing video, a pinup fit video and anything else that I can include as well. I'd truly love to hear from you though if these are topics that interest you or what else you'd like to see on my channel. As I mentioned today is a pinup posing video so I thought I'd go back to the beginning and we're going to work on our classic pinup pose which is also known as our classic burlesque pose, showgirl pose, a bevel in our leg and many other things. I have created a video on this before but I thought it would be fabulous to double back to this just as it's something that can be very helpful for many new pinups and for any of my newer friends on here who hadn't seen this video. When it comes to anything on my channel there really are no strict rules with how you can do things. I have my suggestions and preferences but anything I say in this video or really any of my other videos is not the law of pinup or burlesque. There is nothing you have to adhere to or have to do. There's just my way of doing it and you can create your own way. There's no problem at all. I've put a few details and structure to what I do and I find that helps me with teaching others. So you can take what you learn, you can add your own flair, you can incorporate none of it at all. You can really do as you please in the world of pinup as there are no rules when it comes to these things. So I'm going to push this camera back and let's get working on our pose. Whether you're looking online at Instagram or at a local burlesque show, you'll quite often see the pinups and performers hit a classic position. Even in the 1940s and 50s, when an actress were to walk on stage, quite often she would strike a beautiful classic pose that we still use to this day. Whether you're looking on Instagram at your favourite pinup models or at a local burlesque show, there is a classic pose we see many of these pinups and performers doing. Our classic or basic pinup pose, our showgirl pose and our pinup pose are all pretty much emulating the same look. It creates that beautiful structure on stage and creates that instant moment of elegance in just that simple pose. Like other forms of modelling and dance, by having a basic pose to create movement and poses through, we can really help structure that to create a really certain aesthetic and that's what we'll be focusing on today. We'll start by standing in a regular position. It's a good idea to put on something form-fitting so you can really see the lines of your body and if you're able to either have a mirror or something like your phone that you can see your reflection in, that can be really helpful for getting that pose looking great. We're going to start from our feet and work our way up. So starting at the bottom, we're going to start by putting our heels together and very slightly turning out our feet. We don't want them turned in as when we get to our bevel, this will make us look like we're trying to go to the bathroom, but I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. So heels together, very soft turnout. We don't want like a full ballet turnout in this position, just a very soft one. We're going to pick a leg that will be our support leg. I'm going to pick my left leg. I'm going to bend my right leg forward and hug that into my left to create my beveled leg line. Now I mentioned before we turned out our feet to avoid looking like we need to go to the bathroom. So it looks like we're turning both our feet in and we have that really urgent we look. So just by turning out that supporting foot, we're going to create a much nicer line. With my foot, that is my supporting foot, I have this evenly across the floor. So I'm not trying to stand up on my toe with this leg. This is our supporting leg, so we want that nice and flat on the floor. I'm going to take that right leg and bevel that in front. So this little curved line here is called our bevel. I want to ensure that I'm either pointing my feet, so I've got a pointed foot, or I'm on demi. I want to make sure that I'm not just sitting that foot flat and bending the leg in as it doesn't create as nice a line. Whenever we bend our foot like this or we flex it, 
the foot finishes at the ankle rather than at the toe. So by pointing that foot, we're making our whole body look so much longer, especially for us shorter queens. I'm only about five foot three, so I want to create as much extra length as I possibly can. Generally in pinup modeling, unless there's some reason or we're facing in a different direction, I try not to pop my leg out to the side. Particularly if I'm wearing a beautiful evening gown, when I do this position, when I'm wearing a dress, it's going to make the dress look wider than I actually am. By bringing this leg in, I'm creating that beautiful hourglass look and really emulating that classic 40s and 50s pose you see so many pinups doing. So we want to keep that knee hugged across and not let it float open or come out to the side like so. We're really pulling that in as much as possible. You can see my legs are angling a little bit off to one side, but my body is going to angle a little bit more forward to start with. With my leg line, I can either have my toe nice and close to my other foot, I can extend that out, coming across, or leaning a little bit more back. Generally in pinup burlesque and dance, our closed position is with that leg nice and close, our open position is with that leg extended out. Extending the leg out can also create a little bit more height, as if we're in here, we're just extending it and making that look a little bit longer in images and on stage. Next we'll move on to our torso. In pinup and burlesque, generally we have a little bit of an arch in our back, so we're emphasizing our breast and our bottom in our stance. We want to make sure we're not hunching forward, so we're really engaging better posture. You can relax your stomach muscles in this position if that's what you desire, but it can be a good idea to have good control in this area just to support your body in different poses. This can help prevent injuries when you're posing, dancing, or performing on stage. We'll now work on our arms. We're going to bring them onto our hips. If you're wearing a really flouncy dress that comes out to the side, I'd bring your hands up to your waist. Just if that's popping out here and you press it into your hips, it's going to create a little divot in that and ruin that beautiful silhouette. So a high dress, I'd come up to here. With something form-fitting like this outfit, I'd bring my hands onto my hips and that'll help emphasize my waist. With our hands, we're going to just relax them down, resting onto our hips or our waist. Our fingers are going to be just neatly spaced apart. We don't want them too far in or too far out or creating different patterns the way we're seeing them. We just want to shake them out, relax them and pop them here. Our elbows are just going to channel off to the side so I don't want them too far forward or too far back. And finally, I just want to relax my shoulders down. Our posture, including our torso and our arms, is quite often where we portray ourselves to look most nervous in photos. So if I scrunch up my shoulders and my hands, I can look quite uncomfortable in a picture. If I relax them down, relax those hands, even just take a moment to shake out your body, get rid of some of that tension, and then go back into that pose, you'll find it looks a lot more beautiful than if we're all tensed and feeling quite uncomfortable. So we're relaxing that all down. Finally, we want to imagine that someone's grabbing us by our bow or victory roll and pulling us up as tall as we possibly can be. This will help us with our posture, making us look taller and really elongating for that photo. We want to make sure our head isn't up too high as a flash in a photo shoot can create just a bright light all down here and ruin the line between our chin and our neck. And we don't want our head too far down as we kind of lose that eye contact as it's very hard to look up at the camera or on stage and we can also create some strange looks around our neck. So I'm just thinking about bringing that up and projecting upwards. Also making sure that I'm not poking my chin forward too far. Very common with many of us using technology all the time, we can be leaning into our laptops. So we really want to relax back and come up. From here we have our classic pinup position. So now we have our classic or basic pinup position. You might be thinking, where do I go from here? Now I do have a full series here on YouTube where I break down basic poses, classic poses, leg lines and arm lines. But our classic position is kind of the good foundation to start from. Whenever I have a photo shoot or when I walk on stage and perform a burlesque routine, I hit this line all the time. So it's something really important to master. The better we get at it, we want to practice in both sides, maybe play around with those different leg lines. 
just looking at that basic position. We want it to become so natural to us that no matter what, we could walk on stage in a pinup parade and hit that perfectly. If we're in a photo shoot or competing in a pinup parade, we'd really want to build on from this pose. So looking at different fabulous leg lines, utilizing our costume, maybe even some props. When it comes to modeling, we really want to think about those angles. Even just in this classic position, we can have this bent position in our leg, which creates an angle. The bend in our arm creates an angle, all creating beautiful looks in, on the camera. Just for this basic position, we can create different looks just by isolating different parts of our body, from our hips, to our knees, to our shoulders, to our torso. We really want to play around with that to create lots of different looks. When it comes to posing and dancing, you want to tweak that to suit yourself best. Depending on your bodies, your abilities, your outfit, your props, and many other factors, you may need to slightly alter what's being taught to suit you best. And the best way to do this is simply by practicing. Both to get better at posing and how to utilize that best for you, you want to jump in front of a mirror or a camera and start striking poses and moving around and seeing what suits you best. Like everything I teach here on my Glamour channel, practice makes better, so it's definitely worth investing that time to improve your posing, styling, or whatever it is that you're trying to perfect. I truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it a little bit helpful. If you have, be sure to give it a like and a comment as that really does help me out. And if you're watching from Spotify on the Spotify video option, it would be marvelous if you could follow and rate my podcast. If you have a favorite pinup pose to do on stage for a selfie or photo shoot, I'd love to hear what it is in the comments below. Also, do let me know what topics you'd like to see in my pinup posing series or any other videos included in the future. If you'd like early access to these videos or to join my online burlesque classes, I do have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons and burlesque Glamour students. The support you give me truly helps me in creating more here on YouTube and Spotify. Spotify. To follow my daily pinup adventures and for more pinup posing inspiration, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. Simply follow at Miss Lady Lace and be sure to drop me a message so I can follow you back too. To never miss one of these uploads, be sure to hit subscribe and I will be seeing you in my next video. Stay glamorous!